Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Adele's Craft Room. Tonight we're going to paint Frankenstein's monster on a gourd. I hope you enjoy the video. These are the colors that we'll be using for tonight's project. They're acrylic paints, Americana from Deco Art. We have moon yellow, burnt orange, lamp black, snow white, reindeer moss green, avocado, and Delane's dark flesh. We'll also be using DuraClear gloss varnish when the project is completely dry. First thing you do is you get a big apple gourd. This one happens to be shaped like Frankenstein's monster's head. The first thing I did was paint this gourd with two coats of reindeer moss green. Then I started drawing on the top. I picked the best side first of all, which will be this side. It stands the straightest this way. And I started drawing the hair. The hair kind of looks like frosting running down the side of his head. I didn't finish it back here so that I could show you how to draw it. Get a pencil and right here you go up and then down. Since this is the back of the gourd, the hair can be a little longer back here. Okay. Look it over. See if you like how the hair goes. If you don't, in any spots, you know, just fix it. Okay, there you have it. This line here is, f is the guideline for the scar that goes across Frankenstein's monsters. The next thing you do, just to keep the graphite from smudging down onto the green, is you paint the hair. You see how that looks? Nice smooth strokes. Cover the, all of the graphite. The hair will probably only need one coat because the black covers so well. I'm going to be painting the stem as well because it's Frankenstein's monster's cowlick. If you don't have a stem for your for your cord, find one and peg it in. like I showed you in the pumpkin video. Okay. Almost done with the hair. If you order a gourd from someone, make sure that it stands up. Ask them to make sure the gourd stands up. Okay, there we go. I'm going to probably touch it up a little bit. I see a couple spots that I'm not crazy about. Okay, his hair is painted. This bang right here is the center mark for his face. So the next thing we have to do is draw the eyebrow. To do his eyebrows, I'm going to cut a template.
These are what the templates look like. These are the templates for the eyebrows. Put them where you think you want them. You won't really know for sure where you want them until they're there, unfortunately, but there we go. And then the other side, line them up so that they're close to the same. Okay, there they are. Those are the eyebrows. Next, we get a circle that you cut out after you cut out the templates for the eyebrows and put them, make it the size you think they should be for the size of the eyebrows. And draw. You don't put the whole circle in. You stop at the eyebrow, cut the top of it off, overlap it a little when you're drawing. Like this. Fuss around a little so you get the right location. And there you have it. Snarly faced Frankenstein's monster. Then you put the mouth in, you draw the mouth. My sister says I should make it a smiley face, Frankenstein, so I guess I should. There's his mouth. The the top wave is a little over because I want his mouth to be over to the side a little bit more. And then you draw this. I drew the nose in, but I had to adjust it. So I'll be fixing that. I'll be painting over those lines with some reindeer moss green. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna to have to probably put another coat to cover that graphite, but you get the idea of what he's gonna look like. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the inside of the mouth with black. Then we're going to paint the insides of the eyes black, the whole thing. Okay, there are Frankenstein's two eyes. The next thing we're going to do is line the mouth and the nose with black. Mix up some black paint with some water, make it the consistency of ink. Starting with the mouth, you just Make a line. Let's see if I can do this so you can see it. Okay. 
There you go. One side is done. If you have any wavy lines or anything, this would be the time to fix it because we're going to be shading in a minute. Now let's line the nose. Okay, now, now we're going to line his eyebrows. If you can see. There you go. Now the other side. work on his eyes. First thing you do paint some white up close to the line of the black. It's kind of like the uh, Santa Claus, except upside down. The whites will need a second coat. While we have the white out, let's make some teeth. I didn't draw these in because they're small and but if you feel like you want to draw them in go ahead I probably should have drawn them in because these are not what I started out with I just kept adding to them and now we add buck teeth I'm gonna start shading First thing I'm going to do is get some avocado paint and shade all around the hair. Put your brush in the water, touch it down on your, I have a napkin tonight, and start shading. This will really brighten this Frankenstein up because he's looking kind of dull. See how that is? Okay, the head is all shaded now and I touched up the black where the shading went over into the hair. The next thing I'm going to do is put the lines in the teeth where there's no separation. Okay. 
and touch up the sides. I did a second coat of these on these, uh, no I'm sorry, I did a third coat on the teeth right after I did the touch up and the shading of the hair. Now I'm going to draw lines because they're extended, the teeth are extended past the mouth. Here's one tooth. There's the second tooth. Because Frankenstein looks a little dull because of the color of his face, I'm going to blush his cheeks a little with some of that makeup. I'm going to use this darker eyeshadow color. Let's see if I can get that in the picture. Here we go. It's this one right here. It's a really dark peachy color. Now I'm going to put these this blush right on his cheeks. See how that looks? We'll have to go over the lines of his mouth again. But we really couldn't do this before we put the line work in because it would have spread the it would have spread the graphite all over his face. There you go. I like how that looks. Now I'm going to put the lines back in of the mouth because of the powder. It'll be hard to touch this up if you goof it up, so use your steadiest hand. There you go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the eyes in. We leave a quarter moon of white at the bottom. Try to make them both the same size. These are the irises. we go. Okay, now we're going to paint the irises avocado. This is the same color as the shading. Okay, they look pretty good. They'll need a second coat, so we're gonna do some shading while we're waiting for that to dry. Shade the inside of the nose.
Okay, the nose is shaded. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that reindeer moss green and I'm going to tap it down the center of the nose with a scruffy brush. Now I'm going to put a little white on the scruffy brush, just a little. And I'm going to tap right down the center with that. And then I'm going to tap with that moss green again to take some of that out of there. Now we're going to put another coat of that green avocado on his eyes. All right, shade the eyebrows. These are the eyebrows plus the, the bottom of his forehead. Again, you get the avocado green and put a little bit on your brush and shade. Okay, now we can shade around the bottom of the eyes. See if you can see that while I'm doing it. Very hard to keep this gourd in the picture. We're going to put the line around the iris. Get some inky paint, black, and line the eye. Now we're going to shade the irises. We're going to shade them with black. Okay. The eyes are shaded. Now we're going to shade the teeth. The teeth are going to be yellow, not all the way, just the top of the teeth. Just need a tiny little spot of yellow paint. Okay, here we are shading the teeth. You see that? OK. 
Okay. Teeth are done. The next thing we're going to shade is the whites of the eyes. I have here Delane's Dark Flesh. And I'm going to get the smallest, smallest amount in at the very bottom of the eye, being very careful. Shade the eye with this flesh color. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the pupils in. They're going to be at the top of the eye. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Okay. Try to make them both the same size. Alright, now paint the pupils black. Okay, now we can put some eyelashes on Frankenstein's monster. Get some inky paint on your brush, on your liner brush, and I'm going to just one, two, three. Okay, there you go. Eyelashes. I'm going to put the dots in for his eyes. Of course, you'll want them on the same side so he doesn't look cross eyed. I see we have not lined the scar across his forehead yet, so we'll do that. Okay, now we're going to put the stitch marks in. Next we have to okay. shade the mouth. Of course I jumped the gun again with the blushy stuff. Okay. 
Maybe it'll be okay. have to shade underneath the teeth as well. When you're shading over the top of that blush stuff, be real careful not to put your whole brush down. Kind of use the end angle of your brush so that you don't wipe it all off. And then got to do the little smile lines carefully. I don't know if there was a way that we could have done both without this trouble. Either way. So, there we go. Okay. I'm shading under the nose just a little bit with that Delane's Dark Flesh. We have to shade also the, the scar, the top of his head, with again the avocado. We'll go over the top of those stitch marks, but you know, we'll have to fix those. We'll shade top and bottom of the stitches. I have the burnt orange and I'm going to shade the top of the teeth above the yellow here with that burnt orange. His teeth look a little bit like candy corn now. For the little knobs that go on the side of his face, what we have to do is look at this gourd straight on and find, I'm gonna put it down right about here. And then you try to get it equidistant and equal height on the other side. Let's see how that looks. Put my finger, my finger. Looks pretty good. I made these, I made these little screws for the side of his head out of Sculpey clay. Bake them in the oven. I stuck a hole in the bottom so that we could peg these into the side of the head. 
I painted them dazzling metallic emperor's gold. I forgot to put it in my original colors, but I, it'll be in the box below the uh, video. I'm going to take my drill, drill straight in. get some glue, some white glue. Uh-oh. Too much glue. And stick this into the hole. Twirl it around a little bit. I'm going to put a little line down his nose so that he looks uh, a little shiny. Okay. Frankenstein's monster is complete. He's not my favorite piece I've ever painted, but if you love Frankenstein, you'll love this little guy. When he's completely dry, I will varnish him with two coats of DuraClear gloss varnish. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching my video of Frankenstein's monster painted on an apple gourd. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified of any future videos that I post. Bye-bye now.